What's going on gamers, DBM Gamer here, and I think I finally figured out while Bungie said that our vaults are going to be emptied on launch day. It wasn't the fact that they had to delete the information from the beta to the full launch. No, it had to do with Sly Cooper, the thievious raccoonist himself. Alright guys, how's it going? Today what I really want to talk about is the actually the hierarchy. Uh, the chain of command uh, that's going to deal with the, the Fallen, which is one of the class of monsters that we're going to see a lot of in Destiny. So what I was thinking I really want to do is I want to kind of do a, a rogues gallery so we can kind of get an idea as to you know, all the different types of creatures that we're going to run across while we're romping around the galaxy. Uh, but before I can get into any of that, i got to get to my shoutouts. Uh, my shoutouts is how I show appreciation back to the community that has gotten me this far. If you've not gotten a shout out, feel free to drop a comment. Or if you just want a shout out, feel free to just drop a comment for that too. Uh, but I'm going to give shout outs to Gone22 for dropping me a subscription, uh, John Richards for dropping me a sub, uh, C. Ellis1036 for dropping a sub, Ouroboros, and Paul Cup for also uh, dropping me a subscription. Alright, guys, back to the uh, topic at hand. The Fallen as a race actually break down into uh, seven different classes of monsters, it seems. Uh, the first one being the uh, the shank. This is the little robot. Uh, I think everybody saw when you were fighting the Devil Walker back in the uh, the Devil Walker strike mission. You saw tons of these things because the Walker just steady spits them out. Uh, they're pretty much low man on the totem pole. All these are, are just drones for scouting and possess minimal intelligence uh, according to uh, grimoires. So uh, moving along to actually one that's actually very interesting is the Dreg. Uh, the Dreg is the only one of the Fallen that walks around with only two arms. And that seems really weird because every Fallen that you see past him all have full arms. And it makes me wonder why. So I looked into it. Now I got this straight off of a uh, Grimoire card before it got redacted. Um, dregs cling to the lowest rung of the Fallen Society. Docked of their lower arms in a ritual of humiliation and obedience. Dregs seek to prove their worth. Only a few will survive to gain promotion and regrow their limbs. Uh, their suicidal bravery is fueled by ambition and shame. The dregs have their arms pulled off. How freaking sick is that, man? The, the Fallen are no joke. Next up on the rank is the Vandal. Uh, the Vandal are the higher class of dregs, uh, and they have weapons capable of doing long-range attacks, uh, and they're capable of deadlier force than the dregs. The dregs kind of run around with just little handguns and, and, a, and a close combat knife. Now, the disadvantage that the Vandals do have is the fact that most of their guns require a little bit of charging time so they're a little slower to attack. Now Vandals based on uh, what you can dig out of a grimoire card is that Vandals are savage pirates taking pride in every world they pillage and every body they drop. Soldiers, brawlers, assassins, and scouts, Vandals serve as many roles within the Fallen and whether from a distance or up close and personal they are seasoned efficient killers with an arsenal of weaponry and tech to match their bloodlust. Now next up we have the Captain. Captains were the hard asses that you saw pretty much everywhere in the beta and in the alpha as well. Uh, captains are the fiercest of the Fallen hierarchy. Uh, they're distinguished by their heavy armor uh, and their massive height and they generally run around with uh, twin swords and a cape. Captains are rumored to have a sense of nobility about them and consider humanity to be an inferior race. Alright now next down the line is the Servitor. The Servitors are the floating spherical Fallen enemies that have powerful attack capabilities, launching what look like to be void magic projectiles from their uh, eye in the center. And that actually turns out to be the, the weak point on all the servitors, including the, uh, the, the largest of the servitors that you'll ever see, which was at the end of the Devil's Lair, uh, Sepkis Prime. Now beyond the servitor, the last seen fallen enemy is the Walkers. Uh, now we are really familiar with the Devil Walker. Uh, but it turns out uh, a, a few people actually ran into a couple of public events while on the moon. And it turns out the walkers up there are not called devil walkers. They're actually called noble walkers. These beastie type tanks, I'm pretty much from now on forward just going to refer to these as walkers. Uh, because we start planet hopping and we start seeing more and more of these. It's like that just seems like what's the natural thing to call them from now forward. Now there is one mystery class that no one has seen as of yet. Uh, and these are actually known as Kells. Uh, the only reference to Kells actually came through a uh, leaked Grimoire card before Bungie had redacted it. 
Kells are the leaders of the fallen houses. According to the grimoire, it was them that declared all of humanity's territories now belong to all of the fallen houses. As I said, there's no picture of this. It's only been a mention in a grimoire card. Uh, and this might just be like a cool story piece. So I'm really looking forward to hopefully running into one of these or at least in a story element. So all these fallen that are running around, they actually do have a leader. But if you remember when I was just, just mentioning the Kells, they're the leader of the fallen houses. As in there are a lot more of these guys. Uh, it turns out a lot of what we dealt with uh, throughout the alpha were the uh, house of devils. Um, now when we got to the moon, we also noticed that there were they had fallen there as well, but they were a different color of fallen, which kind of got me itching as to, okay, what's going on here? Uh, the first one that dropped me, I looked at what he was called, it says that he comes from the House of Exiles, which is a completely different house. And also, if that wasn't enough, I noticed different markings on all of the uh, containers, their shipping containers. So it turns out these are a different group of fallen, same type, different house. Now, despite the House of Exiles dregs looking just like Marvin the Martian, they are some tough a-holes, let me tell you. Uh, I tried these, uh, the moon missions on hard. Yeah, they're no joke. They can take a beating and stand up to it. Now, there are several other houses. Let's get into those. Um, there was one that was mentioned, uh, and it actually got mentioned sort of today. Uh, Bungie came out today and said that uh, the first expansion pack, uh, The Dark Below, is going to be dropping in December. So, the second expansion, which is known as the house of wolves is going to focus on a completely different house of the fallen is what i've got to assume now next up is the house of kings uh, the house of kings are noted by having a yellow for their their color and uh, they had this as their symbol i was only managed to catch this screenshot of what their symbol actually looks like uh, the only way that you could actually encounter them at all is if you actually glitched your way through the beta and just happened to run across into this uh room around the sky watch uh, this an area was also known as King's Watch, and that was kind of the clue that these were the House of Kings. And of course, as soon as one of them drops you, you notice he is from the House of Kings. Next up is the House of Winter. The House of Winter is a group of fallen that actually inhabit Venus, and we've not seen anything to do with Venus, but I did manage to snap this shot from a render from Bungie. In the shot, you can notice that they actually have the, uh, the symbol for what is the House of Winter in the background. Uh, and if you look closely at his chest, he has the same symbol, although it's upside down on his chest. And lastly, probably my favorite house of all, the House of Pain. Yeah. <laughs> well, alright guys, if you enjoy this type of content, feel free to drop a comment or a like. Or if you just want to see more, uh, just hit that subscribe button. But as always, have a good one.